All right, uh, welcome back and many thanks for tuning in to CAC TV on this uh, special edition where we are doing the state of the Kenyan politics. At this moment, we are looking into the Machako senatorial, senatorial by-election and our team is camping there led by Chris Sambu and uh, in details they are giving us uh, information what is happening on the ground and currently as we cross over, we can see the wiper party candidate that is uh, Kavindu who is uh, actually now uh, voting and uh, initially Sambu had uh, hinted to us that uh, Kavindu will be voting in a few minutes and uh, exactly that is uh, what is happening uh, down there in uh, Machakos uh, County. And just remember that uh, the Machakos uh, County senatorial seat was left vac vacant after the death of uh, Senator Kabaka. And after that, we've had intense campaigns, especially uh, from the Waipa party and also the Maendeleo Chap Chap party that is led by Dr. Alfred Mutua, who is also the Machakos County Governor and also the United Democratic Alliance. This is a party that is associated with the Deputy President uh, William Ruto. And uh, the former Machakos uh, Senator, that is uh, Johnston Nduya Mudama, is a uh, chairman of this party. And uh, that is, uh, I'm just told that uh, Kavindu is voting at uh, Machako's town constituency. The police uh, the polling station is called uh, Thome, Thome. It relates with uh, another name just around here where one of us comes from here in Nairobi. So we are now finding that name coming all the way from Machako's county, Thome polling a station and you can see there the members or the officials of the IBC leading the candidate into voting. Initially before we are seeing the cabinet administrative secretary for infrastructure that is Wavinya Deti accompanying Ms. Kavindu to do the voting. And just to take you back to history, uh, Ms. Wavinya Ndeti was a fierce competitor of Governor Alfred Mutua in the 2017 gubernatorial elections. She emerged second and uh, they went to court. Uh, the cases were hard, though she lost in the uh, court uh, during the petition, but she offered a very tough competition to uh, the current governor, that is uh, Alfred Mutua. And uh, this comes a few hours after the former Gatanga MP, that is uh, Peter Kenneth, had actually warned uh, government officials um, probably from uh, participating in uh, politics or in active uh, politics. And probably there are those who could uh, feel that uh, accompanying uh, Kavindu just to go to vote maybe shows some sort of uh, a, a public servant participating in the election or in the campaigns one-on-one. -on -one. Our panelists will help us to look into that, whether it contradicts or it contravenes uh, the codes of uh, conduct of the public uh, servants. Uh, that is in Thome polling station. She's gone there to cast her ballot. And as soon as uh, Wavinia Deti casted her vote, she did a sign, I think that is from the Catholic Church, showing it's a sign of uh, prayer, the sign of the cross. That is happening smoothly, and as Sambo hinted to us before, is that uh, there is enough preparations ranging from how everything is being done, the security, uh, the officials who are there ensuring that everything is being done in accordance to the law. And uh, we are seeing a very huge uh, deviation, maybe from what we witnessed a few days ago, that is in Matungu, in Kabuchai, in uh, those wards in Hell's Gate and also in London. A lot of chaos were witnessed even before the elections or the casting of votes could begin. But uh, Machako's senatorial by-election is presenting a new picture, a new atmosphere, a new environment altogether. 
Is it the journey to a sanity voting process that has just begun for Machakos? That one will be looking at it as the day goes by and also in the evening as we shall be coming to the close of uh, this uh, crucial exercise. Uh, that is uh, scenes, uh, what is happening behind the scenes and also on the scenes at uh, Machakos County. That is Tome polling uh, station where Agnes Kavindu, that is a white party candidate, has just voted. And as we have just seen from the photos and also the videos around there, she's been accompanied by the Cabinet Administrative Secretary of the Ministry of Transport and Infrastructure, that is Wavinya Ndeti. And briefly, we shall be having uh, uh, Agnes Kavindu is addressing the press uh, shortly. Yes. 
Cameras, Mukotari. Cameras, 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 Good morning. Uh, this is Kadome. I've come to cast my vote. Uh, I've come to cast my vote. And I thank God the exercise is going on very well. I thank God for all the media teams are here. And I thank God for all the Machakos County people. You've come out in a large numbers. And I want to thank you for the way you are voting. Everywhere they are communicating with me and telling me it's mama, no, kava mama, you know. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm requesting you to come out also in large numbers and cast your votes. Uh, I want to thank God uh, because uh, by the end of the day, uh, we will know the, the senator and I believe it will be Agnes Kavindu Mudama. Um, Niendo mutungi amove amba itu nundu wa usio Wewe ndola muambo ni ya umundi Na nditungi angai wako movea Nundu wa undu wiki ite kite maundu ma usenya Na nienda utunga movea nundu Andu mama saku ni muona nisie wendo wenu Ni muona nisie umwe wenu Ni muona nisie support yenu Wa mudama That is Agnes Kavindu, the WIPA party candidate for the senatorial by-election in Machakos. Patrick Mulwa has joined us uh, briefly here and uh, his impact is going to be enormous, especially at this time that we want to look into some of the things in regard to the Ukambani politics. How is the clock tilting? How are everything moving? The direction that the politics in Ukambani is taking, especially with the emergence of uh, these sacred alliance. Karibu sana, Mr. Patrick. Thank you. Thank you. How is the other side of the uh, eastern part of Kenya? We are okay, we are doing our best mm -hmm. and we are thanking God because uh, we can see things are moving the right way that we have anticipated. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sir. Thank you very much. We are just seeing how elections are being conducted in uh, Machakos County and just before you, uh, you came in we were speaking with the other panelists how everything seems to be so calm, so conducive, so peaceful. You could see how a vignette is being led uh, from the polling station and also with this candidate. What do you think has informed this calmness? Is it uh, that uh, your people from that region are so calm or people have learned a lot from what happened uh, in the other side during the by-elections that we a uh, few days ago? Well, I think the uh, one thing that we need to know is that uh, Kamba people are very uh, peaceful people. And uh, number two, the candidate uh, for our party, uh, who is Agnes Kavindu, mm -hmm. she is uh, someone who is very calm. She is composed and more importantly, she is a servant of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So I think the kind of uh, humanity and the kind of... Uh, uh, the way she was doing uh, uh, campaigns mm -hmm. all along, uh, it has given us a, a different picture. Mm -hmm. And people now have the picture of the leader that they want. Mm -hmm. and that is why everyone is very calm and we want to get the uh, our center in, mm -hmm. then let's move on. As Thank you, uh, Mr. Mudwa. Uh, to bring in Mr. Milton, Milton, you've just seen from the link from our crew, crew on the ground how everything is being done. And uh, out of 10, I don't know how many marks can you award uh, the people in comparison to what we witnessed the other day and the journey that we are in headed to the year 2022. Thank you. I'll give, uh, I'll, I'll have three areas and I'll accord each uh, different score. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, I'll start with uh, what you've talked about, uh, the calmness. Uh, it appears that uh, people from the northeastern region mm -hmm. are a calm lot and uh, this is being witnessed even in this by-election that we're seeing. So to that I'll give them 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, we've not seen any incidences of voter bribery, we've not seen uh, cars coming there with money loaded in vehicles, we've not seen uh, people uh, shouting at each other and slapping each other. We've not Thank you. Uh, Milton, let's cross over again one more time. Wavinia Deti, the car 
Cabinet and Administrative Secretary from the Ministry of Transport and Infrastructure addressing the press. No, no, you are good. Ah. Uh, Munajua mimi nishapiga kura yangu at River Social Hall na nimemleta mama hapa tukiwa na wanawaipa wengine mama akuja kupiga kura mama amepiga kura yake kila naomba watu wa Machakos tafadhali mjitokezee kwa wingi najua ni wakati wa kulima mvua ndio hiyo inakuja watu wengi wako mashambani saa hii asubuhi nawaambia tafadhali mtoke kwa wingi mkuje mpige kura huko at River pia what wengi wako kazini kwa ma factory it has been slow so we are requesting the factory owners wawapatie wananchi wale wanafanya kwa hizo ma factories kwa mavoko nafasi wakuji wapige kura kwa sababu hiyo ni democrat, uh, democratic right yao tafadhali tuachilie wananchi wakuje wachague yule senator wanataka wa, wa what nini wakuja wa wachague senator yule wanataka uh, katika Machakos county kwa hivyo uh, na waomba wale wako mashambani saa hii wajitokeze wakuja wapige kura wale wako kwa ma factory wakuja wapige kura mbaito ni mukulia nini sene vinda ya mbua na ni muende na ubanda ni mukulia kwa ndai ya mume kwa wingi nondo wa voter turnout ni nini umaikwa that is a uh, wavinya ndeti all the way from machakos county and uh, you are actually giving a comment before I cut you short. And now we come back to Mr. Mulwa, who has a first-hand information of uh, probably what transpired within the uh, echelons of power, that is uh, of the Waipa Party, and also the negotiations that led to Mutua Katuku bowing out of the rest. You can briefly tell us probably what led to uh, that. Well, I think it is it's good to be honest with one another. Mm -hmm. Number one, uh, uh, from where I, I sit and what I know about uh, uh, the party position, that is Wiper, who uh, the leader of the party, uh, who had no any negotiation with anyone. I think uh, if we can go by the grief and the rumors that uh, were around, mm -hmm. is only that uh, Governor Mutua at one time uh, was seen. Uh, uh, holding a meeting with uh, the, the UDA candidate mm -hmm. and some few other M MPs, so there were there was no meeting anywhere. Uh, we did not have any agreement uh, for Katuku to step down. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, we were prepared. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, I think uh, uh, if Mutua maybe um, him maybe stepping down for us is not a good choice. Mm -hmm. We wanted him to be in because we are ready and we know that we are going to win the election. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, in other words, you're trying to say that uh, his withdrawal doesn't have either positive or negative impact to your side. Yeah, yeah. Although fact, we are told that all politics is local and any any decision or any direction you take has a consequence. Now, Mr. Lucheri, here comes now uh, something that a number of people have called it a threat to democracy and the whole process of democracy. In that, uh, Mr. Lucheri offers himself as a candidate for Senator Nairobi County, and then you vie, uh, influence people to vote for you, you go around, and then during the last minute, uh, they hear that uh, you're no longer going to appear on the ballot box for reason unknown to them, but known to you and maybe a few people around you. Do you think this is the way people should approach politics in future? I, I don't think that should be the way to approach politics. Um, when one offers himself for election mm -hmm. or herself for election, it means there's something that he wants to bring uh, to the people he wants to represent. And um, he, must, he or she must have been driven by particular ideologies. And you know, uh, the right politics is politics of ideologies. <laughs> Uh, maybe you've seen that your opponents, the kind of thing they are propagating is not the right thing for the people you're going to represent. Therefore, you believe that if I come with this set of ideologies, will help the people that I want to represent. Therefore, when it comes to the home stretch, when actually it's supposed to matter, you withdraw yourself. First of all, it means you do not even believe in 
in yourself, mm -hmm. let alone the ideologies that you gave. It doesn't. Be, you didn't believe in yourself. Number two, you did not even believe in the ideologies you had. I I know there's the element of negotiated democracy, mm -hmm. and uh, we've seen this aspect happening in many other parts of the country, especially in the northeastern part, where it is seen that if this particular clan or this particular set of voters seem to be uh, have been in power for long, mm -hmm. let's let's at least give these other people as well um, an opportunity to lead, which is negotiated democracy. But if it comes to to where the rubber meets the road and you find that a candidate withdraws like what has happened in Machakos, mm -hmm. it, it is not the right thing to happen. Um, Mr. Mulwa here, I, I know he's leaning on one particular uh, direction. Mm -hmm and uh, he has his own preferences. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I'm speaking as a very neutral mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. I have no interest in Machakos, mm -hmm. so I can speak my mind mm -hmm. the, way, the way I see it. Uh, first of all, um, you, you have uh, the influence of uh, a wiper uh, being on test. Mm -hmm. This is wiper being on test as still the king of Ukambani politics because it has faced serious threats from Mandeleo Chapchap, and also now the new kid on the block, UDA, it is facing such a threat. And therefore, WIPA has to do everything to make sure that they prove to the nation that we are still the kingpin of Ukambani politics. Again, you see Mudama on the other side uh, uh, with UDA, he has declared himself the new Ukambani kingpin, mm -hmm. and he is doing everything and amassing all resources to make sure that UDA takes the day in, 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 in Ukambani. And also you, you have Mutua with his Mandeleo chapter as well, he's also wanting to make sure that he appears to be the king of, of Ukambani and um, he, he, he has said that he wants to run for presidency. <laughs> And uh, him withdrawing, number one, says that he doesn't even believe in that in that candidature, mm -hmm. and he also doesn't believe himself as mm -hmm. as a, a probable Ukambani uh, kingpin. Mm -hmm. So there are those uh, dynamics. So right now it is left between Wiper and uh, UDA. I don't want to predict. Mm -hmm. I think um, the voters uh, will decide. Uh, I know Mulo is leaning towards Wiper. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm very neutral, mm -hmm. but I think. UDA will win, uh, in my own analysis, I'm a neutral person, uh, because um, we find Mudama has a very strong hold, especially around uh, the areas of Machakos, which he was the senator before. And then he's also advancing this narrative that is quickly gaining currency with the people, that when they elect Ngengele, he the people of Machakos will have two senators. We'll have Ngengele, mm -hmm. and then they will have also uh, uh, Mudama, who has been a senator before. Mm -hmm. So he calls himself the senator on call, mm -hmm. so that even if they cannot get Ngengele, they can get uh, Mudama. Mm -hmm. And you see many people are buying into that. And then the second and doing for uh, Wiper mm -hmm. is the fact that uh, Kalonzo decided to go for the ex-wife of Mudama. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the people perceive that as a personal political stores, as cause that they want to settle. Um, if, if I want to take a candidate, I wouldn't want to, to take your wife in order to, to beat you. I will just need to get a strong candidate who is not affiliated to you and groom that candidate and make him uh, challenge you on the on the ballot. I will not go for your wife. So that's <laughs> Thank a mistake. you, Mitchell. Let's see, Mulo is in trouble. I have a punch, but... Uh, I think my friend, well, uh, it's, uh, it's true, it's true uh, that uh, um, uh, the Wiper candidate. Mm -hmm. uh, but the truth is this, eh? Mm -hmm. Agnes Kavindu is a very strong woman. Mm -hmm. She's a politician. And uh, she was there 2017 when Modana withdrew from uh, uh, the senatorial uh, co uh, competition. Mm -hmm. And uh, this lady, uh, the way, you know, people need to understand history uh, uh, about some people. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have heard this woman speak, you will really see someone of goodwill. Mm -hmm. Someone who means what. Uh, is good for the people, mm -hmm. and therefore the party uh, did the best that it could have done. Mm -hmm. Because number one, we are a democratic party, mm -hmm. 
our leader is a global leader who, is, uh, who, who has a lot of uh, uh, respect worldwide. Mm -hmm. And someone uh, on humanitarian ground is respected that he has negotiated for democracy for countries in Africa. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when this uh, uh, candidate, that is Agnes Kavindu, came to the party and she expressed the interest to join the party, then we had no other option other than accepting her. Mm -hmm. We had other candidates. Mm -hmm. And remember, we have talked about shared democracy. And uh, I think the party leader in his own wisdom, they all sat down and they agreed. In fact, none of all those other candidates, uh, 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 those that are included, uh, the CAS, color, Labour, none of them complained that uh, they were maybe uh, uh, pushed to the wall to accept uh, the entrance of Agnes Kavind. They all agreed to support Agnes Kavind. If you look at our team, None of those guys went out and supported the other team. In fact, those people, some of them were uh, supporting Gengele and maybe Katuko, they have come to our camp. Mm -hmm. You saw the MCAs, those who were supporting Katuko at the first time, they came to our point. Mm -hmm. After realizing the goodwill that uh, Agnes Kavindu wants to bring to Machakos. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the sobriety that we can see is because uh, the candidate really knows what she wants to do mm -hmm. and she has the goodwill of the people and thank you mr Mulo and mr milton on that uh, uh, we will put a stop into that briefly because of something that we want to look here you see this is not just a by-election a senatorial by-election uh when we used to be in primary schools in secondary schools in form four and in class eight there was this exam called uh, mock and you can be a hapa okay but 392 marks jua kcc uko 400 apple or somewhere near there if you get a b in mock uko b plus something like that so what's happening in machakos today is actually a mock of uh, how firm family are you on the ground and who is likely to be the, the, the who is the kingpin is the perceived kingpin still in control or something like that now let's get to the lower eastern part that is uh, the region that uh, Mulwa comes from where we have Makweni, we have uh, Machakos and we have Kitui. In Kitui we have uh, Ngilu leaning on the side of Raila Karachi. These people have been friends for a long time since their days at uh, the Rainbow Coalition. We have uh, Kivuda Kibwana who finally went to say the day is good like in Arizona, see him in what I may say, or may say, we have chap chap man on the other day talked positive of Raila, but uh, the indications the other day again, I uh, seemed to be admitting something that uh, Kalonzo is still on the top. 2013, 2017, Kalonzo delivered a huge chunk of votes to Raila Odinga. We didn't have a presidential candidate from those sides. Neither did we have some of the uh, some of these uh, voices that are rising. Do you think with the emergency of Mutua and the emergency of Kibwana and Gilu also at some point with Raila, is this going to change the presidential voting patterns in the Lower Eastern? Before I come to you, because I, Mr. Milton. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, thank you. You've you've uh, really put that into context. Mm -hmm. um, here we have uh, three main uh, contestants. Um, I talk about uh, Waipa leader, Kalonzo Msioka. I talk about um, uh, Mudama of UDA, and also talk about uh, uh, Mendeleo Chap Chap, uh, Governor Mutua. Those are the three main forces uh, who are going to detect the kind of temperatures that will be there in the 2022 race. Mm -hmm. uh, leave alone Ngilu, leave alone uh, Kibwana. You, you see, these, these are, they've been there in politics for a long time, but do not command a lot of uh, a political capital mm -hmm. within that society. Um, Mudama happens to have been the former uh, ally mm -hmm. to Waipa, mm -hmm. but I think they did not agree on some issues and Mudama had to left. And so right now Mudama is trying to prove his point to his former boss that I can, I can do what, um, what you can do. Mm -hmm. And therefore with, with this baby of his, the UDA, he's trying so hard to make sure that that happens. And you know that he bankrolled uh, uh, Waipa for a very long time. 
and uh, he has the muscles to do that again and to even popularize uh, UDA in that uh, place. So uh, we are going to see that um, uh, UDA is going to perform exceptionally well in this kind of uh, le even if they don't win, at least they will they will perform very well and they will even by bypass. Uh, the likes of Kibwana and even Angilo. Mm -hmm. And yes, you are right. This is a barometer of the 2022 elections, mm -hmm. how it's going to uh, turn out to be. Um, depending on which side uh, Kalonzo leans on, it will, he, will, he will bring votes. Mm -hmm. But depending on which side he leans on, it will determine whether there are a lot of votes or very few uh, uh, votes. We've talked of sacred alliance, mm -hmm. and this sacred alliance is gaining uh, membership mm -hmm. every other day, mm -hmm. with the new entrant being uh, 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 Governor Mtua. Mm -hmm. That's why he had to withdraw his candidate. Uh, what, so, one thing uh, I want you, you are, you are projecting thing. that uh, Mutua will finally join the sacred alliance, or uh, mm -hmm. there have been official communication regarding that? Um, I am I am projecting, and my projection is based on empirical evidence. Uh, first thing is that uh, uh, Mandela Chap Chap has withdrawn the candidate a day towards election. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Is because he is leaning towards the BBI side, and if he fielded a candidate, then he will be challenging. Uh, the candidate that every other person is sponsoring, and that is the wiper candidate, mm -hmm. because this uh, uh, the, the wiper candidate is in the uh, BBI thing. So um, I'm projecting that uh, finally uh, Mutua will land into the the sacred alliance mm -hmm. because there I think he has goods uh, goodies in uh, in store for him. But um, I, I don't know. It's a phenomenon that, as an analyst, I've observed. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of um, uh, unsteadiness mm -hmm. in the mind and in the character of uh, politicians from around uh, the the lower eastern region. Mm -hmm. uh, start with uh, Ngilu mm -hmm. herself, go to Kivuta Kibwana, go to Mandeleo Chapcha Plida, go to Kalonzo. Mm -hmm. It it is a kind of uh, political class. Yes, they will be with you in this moment. But somewhere along the way, they will shift. They so, will shift their, their, their mind and, uh, and uh, go to something else. Even if... Uh, so it is, uh, in as much as, what you're trying to say, that in yes. as much as politics is termed as a game of interest, yes, yes. the level of interest of the leaders found mm -hmm. at the lawyers and part <laughs> is very high. It, it, it's very high. It, uh -huh. it, it is so open into the... Because uh, if you look at Mutua, for example, mm -hmm. the other day he said we will not support BBI by any means mm -hmm. because this is a very uh, bad document. This is, it, has, it, has, it, it doesn't have the interest of the people at mm -hmm. heart and those kind of things. And barely two weeks mm -hmm. after that, he comes and says, we will only pass these things after this and this has been met. And then a few days down the line, he says that BBI is a good document. Even Same after, for, the, before the, the amendments. Even, be even before the amendments. Same, Same goes for Kivuta Kibwana. Now, uh, you, know, you had something to interject? Yes, yes. I, I think <laughs> uh, it's good to, as I said earlier, it's good to be honest. Eh? Mm -hmm. That one Mutua is someone whom I respect so much. He's mm -hmm. a leader. Uh, number one, uh, Motua did not do what he did yesterday because uh, of the spirit of supporting BBA. Mm -hmm. And I'm very sure that something uh, is happening somewhere, mm -hmm. and that is why Motua had to do that. Because if it was for that case, mm -hmm. Motua would have pulled Harley even before uh, 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 he did that one uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, uh, one thing we need to understand the moment our party leader joined the president, that is when the three governors, they gunned against the party leader. Mm -hmm. Remember, when Stephen Kalonzo Muzoka 2013 to 2017, he was very bonded mm -hmm. to Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. And we had a lot of issues. And we had uh, Kivuta Kibwana, who was elected on um, uh, the Mongano party. Mm -hmm. Then, 2017, now uh, we had again Kalonzo and Raila running on one ticket. Then after that one, uh, during the burial for his father, then Kalonzo declared that he's going to work with the president. I'm telling you one thing you need to understand. Kebwana came to Waipa and he was elected. Gilo, on 2017, 
he raided on Kalo, uh, on Kalonzo's name mm -hmm. and party mm -hmm. even though he went on his own uh, on her own party she had the blessing of one Kalonzo Musyoka mm -hmm. the only person who ran the show alone and on his own party mm -hmm. was Mutua mm -hmm. and therefore these guys in one way or the other uh, they are trying to to shake you know a big tree that it cannot just fall down so easily mm -hmm. because if you look at the, uh, uh, the MPs and the MCAs in the three counties, mm -hmm. we command 70% mm -hmm. population. So you've reduced to 70%. Milton was saying it was somewhere around. And now, Mr. Mulwa, there is something here that has been coming up. It began slowly, and uh, just as uh, Mr. Luceri has said, it's picking momentum. The bond, the friendship between uh, Gideon Moy, the friendship uh, also Musali is there, Wetangula is there, and uh, what party leader that is Kalonzo. These are people who worked very closely uh, in the Kano regime some time back. And uh, as this thing has been picking up, there is somewhere they have been throwing their, their missiles, their arsenals. They really blame the former prime minister, they are talking of uh, they want to do something that is built on gentlemanship. And I think so far you have uh, formed a committee of around 12 people to oversee how you people are going to work together. But again, a question has been coming here. What is this that uh, the Sacred Alliance are claiming that Raila has denied them? Look here, my brother. You know, when you have a brother and you are going for a war and that brother does not support you, it simply means there is somewhere you have not agreed, mm -hmm. right? And we have worked with the, uh, the, the former Prime Minister for so long, mm -hmm. and we respect him, and he's a senior statesman in this country. Mm -hmm. Did you see any of his officials or leaders going to Machakos to support one Agnes Gavindo? Mm -hmm. No. In fact, at one point, the Secretary General ended that we are so coward and so many other things. Mm -hmm. And believe me or not, we never responded because we are, not, we, we are cowards. Mm -hmm. No. We never responded because we believe in democracy mm -hmm. and we believe that time is everything. I mean, Samudwa, before we get far from these, you know, everything has a genesis. Very true. Everything has its own root. Milton may not stand in a position to give a proper answer. That is why we are really praying mm -hmm. that we get the right answer mm -hmm. from you. You see, I, uh, I can start blaming Milton that uh, Milton took my, this court, it's mine. But probably it's not the truth. I have another problem with him. There's something else that he did to me. But in any case, that was not supposed to be yours, or that is not there. So, where is the, this dissatisfaction where you're referring to Raila not being a gentleman? Can I give you a very simple example? Yeah. Look at the funding for the political parties. We had, uh, that is Jubilee, and NASA, mm -hmm. whereby the, the big party uh, in, in NASA is ODM, right? Mm -hmm. This funding goes to ODM. Mm -hmm. You remember there was a tussle between WIPA, uh, ODM, and ANC on how this money should be shared. Mm -hmm. What happened? Mm -hmm. ODM ran away with everything. That is a, one big problem. Thank you. We'll go to problem two. On the issue of uh, sharing of funds, I'll uh, now bring in Milton to help us with uh, an economic eye from an economic perspective, from a realistic perspective. And again, I think if we'll be lenient enough, we'll bring in the gentlemanship. I don't know whether it is there in politics. You politicians can tell us. <laughs> now, here is a situation yeah. where your party, whatever party, has been allocated a certain number of millions to as per uh, how you're entitled as per the constitution mm -hmm. and at the same time here are friends who worked with you thought they didn't raise enough numbers to give them uh, these uh, that impetus also to to be, to be allocated some amount mm -hmm. so do you believe that the cries of uh, Mulwa is right though at some point Raila himself said Ipesa to ta share Mm -hmm. I'll share with the coalition, but where Sifuna came in and talked of we are not sharing the funds, I don't know. Muno will tell us. Mm -hmm. uh, is this practical? Um, first of all, <clears throat> the constitution makes provision for the allocation and distribution of funds to political parties. <clears throat> so uh, the bigger the party, Let the someone more... Someone help us with water here. <clears throat> 
sorry <clears throat> the bigger the party the more the share that you get and that is according to the uh, political parties act mm -hmm. so that uh, if you have more representation in the parliament it means you get uh, part uh, part of the sharing uh, I want to imagine and I want to believe that the people who that the parties when they come together to form a coalition they have already engaged in a pre-election pact and um, and uh, part of the pre-election part one of the issues to be discussed is maybe distribution distribution of uh, distribution of uh, of political seats, especially the nomination, nominated seats in parliament. That's one of the, the, the areas to be looked at. And then one, uh, one other area to look at is how do we share resources from the national treasury that is allocated to the parties. So <clears throat> that is one of the issues that needs to be addressed. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Just take water, feel free. Yeah. Uh, uh, that is a voting exercise continuing to take place in uh, Machakos County. Milton has uh, briefly lost his voice, but uh, we are getting him. Things are hot inside here. <laughs> that is uh, early in the morning. You can see darkness was still uh, in the atmosphere, and even uh, voters are moving. I can see one being escorted by a security officer. That is what happened earlier in the morning. Uh, Milton, you are yeah. telling us something before we... Yeah, so... Um when collisions come into existence, they come in existence through pacts, uh, which are uh, pre-election pacts or post-election pacts. So um, I want to believe NASA, uh, with all its members, decided to come into a political pact. And one of the areas to look at is the sharing of the slots, the nomination slots within the, uh, the parliament. The next item to look at is also sharing of resources among other areas the constitution and all those kind of things so i would like to just look at this particular uh, cloud uh, or clause of sharing resources mm -hmm. um uh, i want to believe that uh, wiper and uh, anc and other parties mm -hmm. uh, had uh, competent lawyers to look into this pact and see if there were any loopholes that odm can uh, being the big boy in the collision uh, if there are holes that uh, ODM can use to exploit other members. So I want to believe they looked at it and they locked all the loopholes. Uh, and um, such a document is always to be recognized in law, uh, is always registered with uh, a political parties registrar, mm -hmm. so that it is a document that one can go back to it in, in case they go to court. Uh, they can refer to it and say, we agreed that you give me this lot, so we agreed that you give me this much, but it, it hasn't happened. Mm -hmm. uh, we see that ODM, in, in, in principle, agreed to that and said that we will give you, uh, we will give every uh, member, uh, member party, uh, their rightful share. Mm -hmm. But uh, it comes to be somewhere along the way, when the money has come into the account, mm -hmm. You find there's there's a bit of uh, laxity in terms of uh, allocating resources. Mr. So I'll call that um, I'll call that um, not agreeing, mm -hmm. not being a gentleman, mm -hmm. because once we've agreed and there's a pact. Before that, uh, Mr. Milton. Yes. Before our brother Mundo goes to give us the second point of where this problem emanated from. Mm -hmm. I know Mundo is doing something or we are doing something that is not being done elsewhere where people concentrate on exchanges of words between these uh, former friends. I know they're still maybe friends without really looking deep into what led to this. Now, you talked of having agreed that Ikikuja, Utakula Shayako, Utapata Shayango, Utapata Shayango. He has talked of it is bad turning away from being a gentleman. But another question which Milton again will help us here, or though he'll also tell us. Did you, even after the elections, did you continue being friends? Hame ilifika maali uaminifu upando enu ukakosekana, ndiyo pia wakasema, ah, hii sasa hii hata wacha tu, atuwezi wapatia kitu. I don't go to the swearing in issue because it's a mystery. Don't go there. We don't want to go there, sijui mambo ya simu, namba ya Nigeria. We want to see, apart from the number Nigeria issue and failing to attend the swearing in, if there's any other thing that maybe started to make your friendship 
to start not diving? Uh, one thing we have to remember is that uh, 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 before the handshake happened, uh, the party leader, uh, the Weber party leader, and at a number of times asked the president to consider the other principles and try to bring in some uh, working relationship with mm-hmm. everyone. He was the first person to say that now because uh, we have gone now for the re-election, for, as in the presidential re-election, now we have Uru Kenyatta. We cannot uh, continue uh, maybe sabotaging the economy and other things with strikes and everything. And he was calling all the other principles to order. Mm-hmm. And that is, I think that is where uh, the former prime minister got the idea and went very fast for the uncheck, mm-hmm. which was very okay. Mm-hmm. We agreed. Now, immediately after that one, Kalosa himself said that he's going to work with Uru Kenyatta. Arila was working with, with Uru Kenyatta by then. So what is the problem uh, with Kalonzo joining uh, Uru to work, continue working with the country? Mm-hmm. That is again a big problem. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, you cannot, you, you cannot be in a collision, then you, you, you maybe run ahead, you want to do something, and then you are telling the other guys to wait on, on the other side. It is not possible. Mm-hmm. So we had to work with the president mm-hmm. and continue with the agenda of the country. We are shortly coming into that, uh, Mr. Mulwa. I didn't give you an opportunity either to send your condolences because we actually we were doing a link all the way from Machakos. Yesterday, uh, the president of uh, Tanzania, John Joseph Pombe Magufuli, was announced uh, dead. dead. And uh, Milton and uh, Oloch, who've been here in the morning, uh, had some time to speak about the man that he was. And uh, you see Kenya currently holds the position of uh, the chairmanship of the East African community. And at the same time, it is a country that is strategic to us and uh, we work with them. The president has given his address and we are going to just hear from him a few minutes from now. I was in Tanzania some time back and I met these people on it or child. You people are brothers that uh, you relate. Mm-hmm. So have a word also to say before we cross over to State House and get the president a speech. Anything to the people of Tanzania and uh, as it regards to the death of Magufuli. Well uh, uh, um, on my own behalf and also the youth leadership of this country, I would like to really give my sincere condolences to the family uh, of the late Dr. John Pombe Mangfuli, who is the president of Tanzania and the big, as in at large, uh, the United States of Tanzania. I know uh, one uh, Mangfuli is a very uh, strong, charismatic and a very vibrant leader, whom I think uh, he, he really uh, fitted to uh, be the president of Tanzania and he has helped the country to be where it is today. Mm-hmm. Uh, in terms of other linkages, I think we had other, uh, maybe w- uh, wars between uh, Kenya and uh, Uganda, uh, not Uganda, sorry, Tanzania. I think you remember there's a time we locked our cows mm-hmm. somewhere. Mm-hmm. There's a time uh, uh, there was an order, our chicken was burned somewhere. Mm-hmm. But you know, in African culture, it is not good where, uh, to, 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 to maybe come out and speak all these bad things about a fallen hero. So we think it's a time that we are all mourning this great leader. Mm-hmm. And uh, what we need and what we pray for and for the president who is going to take over is to bring back the cordial relationship for East Africa mm-hmm. community. Many thanks. Our director is leading us one-on-one to get the speech of the president. Before we come back, Mulwa will be, will be doing his final presentation as far as the lower eastern part of Kenya politics is concerned before we bring back Mr. Andama Oloj and just to wind up at this morning session of the special edition. This is a coverage of the Machako senatorial by-election. And besides that, we are doing state of Kenyan politics because we believe that election is not an event but a process and that's why we are looking into all the processes all things that surrounds this election moving to 2022 Tanzania forward and also steer the East African community to closer integration on the continental stage 
the late President Magufuli was a champion of Pan-Africanism. In the passing on of President Magufuli, I have lost a friend, a colleague, and a visionary ally whom I worked closely, particularly on our commitment to forge lasting bonds between Kenya and Tanzania. In honor of the life of His Excellency the late John Pombe Magufuli, and in recognition of his strong legacy, and in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in the United Republic of Tanzania, either East African community, and the whole of Africa, who are in deep mourning following the loss of an outstanding son of Africa, Mamangu, Mamangina Kenyatta, na akachukua fursa kuenda kumtembelea nyumbani na kutoa heshima zake kwake. Na pia mimi, akanialika ni mtembelee kwake nyumbani kule chato, na pia nikapata nafasi ya kumsalimia mamake na kuongea naye tukalala kwake nyumbani na tukaongea mengi kuhusu nchi zetu mbili na pia uhusiano wetu kama wanachama wa Afrika Mashariki nimempoteza rafiki nimempoteza kiongozi mwenzangu na nchi ya Kenya tumesimama imara wakati huu mgumu na wenzetu wananchi wa Tanzania Live every day, you've got to live single. There's no specific time where we say, okay, this is the only time you can get married. After this time, no. If a child fails an exam, the key thing is that the child wrote the exam. Why don't you just have a child outside wedlock? Why don't you just hmm. be a second or third wife? My life is not necessarily dependent on a man. The movement is in progress. Hmm. But progress requires movement. There's got to be more. Hmm to life than just marriage. If I am have a job, I'm in my, own, in house, my own house, I've not, not settled down. <laughs> so when you make certain turns in success, you've got to slow down. There's so much more to live and to do with being single. Living the life every Saturday at 2 p.m. on CAC TV. A mistake. Welcome to Kakwa Toto. We're very glad to have you. In this show, we have four segments. I always get excited for this particular moment when we raise generations for Christ. Do you know that Jesus loves you so, so much and he has given you talents? The aim of this program 
is to make sure that it nurtures your talent. By the way, kukua na baraka, si pesa mungi. Nikuwa na yesu ndani ya moyo wako, na kujipenda, na kujua ya kwamba you are not a mistake. Wow! If we were to express our faith in the workplace, even in our offices, mm -hmm. I don't think we'd be dealing with the issues that our country is dealing right now. In every situation, there's a silver lining. If I'm a Christian professional, will I be engaged in corruption or in tribalism or some of these other national vices we have in the workplace? How do we get back to the original design as God intended it to be. We inspire. The cross unites. These are the traditions divide. The God of hope fills us with joy and peace so that we overflow with hope. Encourage your resilience. When you see like, ha, what? It's like when an accident is coming to happen and you're seeing yourself dead. You, you get to a point where you say, no, but God is there. And you know, he puts a stop. And instill hope that anchors the soul. We know that God intense that we have life and have it in abundance don't miss rays of hope mondays at 8 pm only on cac tv health nuggets features real people i'm a survivor of stroke i was totally incapacitated sasa kama hiyo nyubagu naona niliusa Highlighting real issues on your health and well-being. Especially for people who are pregnant, I would I'd advise them to keep off from that, you know, farm-fed, farm-bred fish from China. Creates awareness on health matters affecting you. We sometimes treat our cars better than we treat ourselves, right? because every couple of miles you send it to the garage, right? Uh, you don't wait for it to break down. But with our bodies, you wait for the car to break down as it were, then you say, okay, let me go to the hospital. Well, good health is not something that you can buy, but be rest assured that health is well. Don't miss Health Nuggets every Monday at 7.30 p.m. here on CAC TV. Your health matters. Power is sweet. It's very, very difficult uh -huh. for you to find a regular person. Any uh -huh. wa mta, uh -huh. amepati wa such a position. Uh -huh. We saw the, issue, the the scandal at Kenya Power. We saw the scandal at the Treasury at Orki Are those people youth? They united together because of their own businesses. Power tends to corrupt and absolute powers corrupt absolutely. You know, Africa culture. When you have food in the mouth, you don't speak. Are they eating? That's why the issue of impeaching the president stopped. This is probably where we major on politics. Pastor should not be seen leading a demonstration in the streets. We never saw the others that came before us doing those things. Power Brief is now bigger and better. Every Thursday from 8 p.m., join Cornelius Omuse, Honorable Jeremiah Kioni, Edgar Kosge, and a team of experienced political and governance analysts for powerful discussions on politics, governance, and economy only on CAC TV. The great people on earth today are the people who pray. Not those who talk about prayer or those who explain about prayer, but those who take time and pray. God answers prayers. Why? Because he hears. His ear is not deaf. So he hears our prayers. Men and women who go before God, we should be men and women of Godly standards. Sure. So we abide. Yeah. So that we keep tapping from the source. And as we pray, it is important to tell God that your will be done in this prayer that I'm praying or about this prayer that I'm item that I'm praying about. Not as I will. Yes, this is my will, but let your will be be done in these changing times and seasons of uncertainty who do you look up to god keeps his path come rain come 
sunshine. Mm -hmm. God is still committed. From one generation to another, and it's not like shifting shadows that he will change. But Join Reverend Elizabeth Kimani and Henry Kyra every Wednesday from 8 to 9 p.m. live on CAC TV for Call Unto Me. 2021, he's still the same God and he has not changed. Inasemekana, mtaftaji hachoki. Hakuna kazi raisi, kazi zote ni ngumu. Hakuna kitu mwana mwana anafanya hapa, sisi tunakindu wakufanya. Hakuna. Hakichoka, <laughs> kesha pata. We only get limited in the mind. In the mind, exactly. Mimi nasema my space, mm. my creation, mm -hmm. I become. Ungana nasi kwenye kipindi cha kazi na mali ambapo tunakuhimiza Bado safari iko safari ipo. Na ngana. Kukuhamasisha you are kindly tunatengeneza vitu ambazo zinapatikana katika ile kila nyumba. Hata nyumba kuu ya Kenya State House utapata mali ya jukali ziko huko. Na kukuelimisha kuhusu sekta mbalimbali zinazounda nguzo kuu za uchumi wa nchi kwa jumla. Kama association tunawahimiza kabisa kila mtu awe na ile card ya insurance ambayo ni ya serikali usikose kazi na mali kila siku ya Jumanne saa moja nusu jioni hapa CAC TV Experience Christian television like never before What are we called to do to transform the world to make it more Christ-like and ultimately to Christianize. We are Christian professionals placed by God in our different spheres. CAC TV brings you news. Ulimwengu unabadilika kwa kasi na kila dakika ya siku kuna jambo unalopaswa kujua. Economic. Ni moja tu wa wanabiashara ambao tumezungumza nao mtazamaji. Health. The egg from Kenyaji chicken is very good and people know that. Be rest assured that health is well faith, as well as national issues programs to nourish your heart, mind, and soul. We can bring the change that we desire in our country. We look into political and governance matters and current affairs matters with a third eye. We are called to multiply disciples. So there has to be disciple makers, and there has to be people that are willing to be those disciples. Talk TV brings it all to you. God bless you.